watching. Today I have created gorgeous 50s inspired vintage retro makeup look. If you guys like it, then please watch the next Makeup is always option for me whereas skincare is compulsory for me. That's why starting my makeup and skincare with my toner and moisturizer. I'm using toner and moisturizer of Aroma Magic which is one of my favorite brand. Let's blend that moisturizer all over the face real quick and smoothly. After moisturizer, pick up your favorite primer and blend it all over the face. Your face skin is like your baby, be gentle with your skin. As an eye primer, I'm using Dharma Cold Full Coverage Foundation. So blending all over the eyelid will go with eyeshadow. Usually in 40s and 50s, they used to use either white color, brown color, or one eyeliner, that's all. That's why I have big color brown. One flat brush, we will just make like a line on that crease of the eyelid and we'll blend that out. I want my makeup to look like 40s and 50s, but at the same time, I want to give some a little bit modern twist. After blending, I thought my eye shadow was quite light, that's why I added some eyeshadow and then blend it out. Let's put on some concealer on that eyelid and look downwards and upwards and you'll find that exact same place where you can do your cut from and make the cut crease. Take time, be gentle, do not hurry up, it will take time but it will be worth it. After putting on concealer, we will take one flat brush and tap on that concealer of cut crease. And after doing that, we will put on some white eyeshadow and just blend it out on that cut crease part. After that, we will take a brown eyeshadow and we will just blend it out on that uh, lower part of that cut crease. We will do the same thing on another eye. After that, we will put some glitter on, some white glitter. To glitter, we will directly jump into eyeliner. Wink eyeliner was really popular at that time, so I'll go with that. Sometimes I really sit and think, and I feel like I was born in wrong era because the makeup of 40s, 50s, and uh, 60s was so good. Everything was so nice that everyone looked so pretty with that dress up and that makeup. I really wish that things come back again in fashion. Let's fill up the brow. I really have thick eyebrow, but in 40s and 50s, they really used to have very thin eyebrow. And I'm trying to make it more thin as possible as I can. Blend that concealer with brush and give fine line. They really used to have their eyebrow like shape of mountain and uh, hillies, but I don't have a beautiful shape of my eyebrow. Today I'm starting my face makeup with my concealer, putting all of that concealer on the part of my face where I have got a little bit dark shade and I am done putting concealer now let's blend it out after blending my concealer uh, we will go with foundation for foundation i have used milani foundation with the help of blending brush let's blend this out and after this we will go with contouring for contouring i'm using my beauty blender i dipped my beauty blender on a contour palette and did tap on my face after blending my contour, I'm going again with my concealer. With the help of that concealer, I'm going to give more defined to my makeup. I want to give the illusion of a sharpness to my face. With the help of one little blending brush, we'll just tap it out and blend it out that concealer. Today, I will just do baking at first and we'll put blonder and blosser after that because we all know that there is no rule for makeup it's just that it should come out really good that's all 
I can really feel that today's makeup is going to pop out. I'm going to love it. I know that. It's blusher time. Let's put on some blusher to give fresh, fresh look. The blusher we will enhance nose contouring with the help of blonder. At first, I chose color pink for my lipstick, and then I realized. Retro look and vintage look is all about red lipstick and I thought to mix it up. Pink wasn't even looking bad either but it's about more red so yeah I did that and it came out. Please do it. I'd be a silly soul. See you guys next week.